Yo, what's up guys? You got Pokey I'm here with the next part of the Uber's Road to Top 10 and I am sick. I, uh, I've been sick for almost about a week now. Well, no, I've been like actually sick for maybe two to three days, but I've been feeling it for about a week. So today's episode is going to be relatively short compared to most. Uh, I usually do between 40 to 50 minutes on these, I feel like, maybe, maybe 35 at the minimum. But uh, yeah, this one will be a little bit shorter than usual and probably the rest of the videos up until Monday I, I don't know when I'll be feeling better but uh, yeah they're gonna be relatively short so bear with me on that but I got a lot of uh, people asking there was probably more than what's showing on your screen right now but I got a lot of people asking me to use Blaziken uh, Zesty passed me a few Blaziken teams and this was the one I liked the most because it gave me some offensive pressure and especially because Pokemon is such a mental game uh, so how you're feeling your physical state and your mental state uh, it it does I feel kind of crazy saying it but like it, it does affect you it does like, I don't feel crazy saying it because I truly believe it but I don't want to have to explain why uh, but it's like if you're you know you're running track and and you twisted your leg like you're gonna you're gonna run like crap and I've ran events where, like back in high school where my legs were twisted oof it was bad but uh, yeah anyway so we got this Zesty team, this Blaziken team. It's gonna be a lot of fun. I don't know who's gonna get the thumbnail. I kind of, it depends how much work Blaziken puts in, but I kind of feel like Ditto will just inherently put in work because like, or like, just because the nature of Ditto, right? Like, it, it can't help but not put in work in Ubers. It's going to copy a giant Uber, take their boost, and, and, and sweep back, right? We'll, we'll see though. But yeah, I'll see you guys in team preview. So Ditto is the first member of the team, and Ditto's role basically is with Imposter, you come in after something is set up, or uh, you come in to revenge kill something. Basically, you get in there, you steal their boost because of Imposter, and uh, with your choice scarf, you're able to outspeed them and hopefully sweep them back just in case they did set up. Uh, and even if they didn't set up, right? Like copying a Primal Growl, copying a Primal Growl is very scary. Like having that presses blades and whatnot, and a choice scarf on top of that. Now the EV spread in nature doesn't necessarily matter for Ditto in terms of copying, right? The only thing you want with Ditto is max or near max HP because that is the only stat that Ditto retains of itself when it does transform into something else. But relaxed nature and 2v2 defense means that if you're ever in a Ditto versus Ditto war, if you didn't know, Ditto cannot copy Ditto. So if you're ever in a Ditto versus Ditto war and that's your last two Pokemon and, and you and your opponents obviously and, and you guys end up struggling because that's what's gonna happen inevitably, um, Basically, you take less from their struggle, and the eight attack means you do more with your struggle, and with the relaxed nature, ideally, <laughs> it's not so dumb to say it, but it's the truth. With the relaxed nature, you're ideally slower than them, so they kill themselves first via struggle before you do. Now, Cloyster's next member, and Rapid Spin is apparently very important right here. I, uh, I, I messed up and put double Rapid Spin, but that should be Spikes. But the idea of Focus Dash Cloyster Lead is to get up Spikes, but also beat leads like Excadrill and Deoxys Speed via Icicle Spear and a Rapid Spin. So that's like the main idea behind it. Adamant Nature allows us to uh, knock out uh, Necrozma Dawn Wings uh, with, after a Shell Smash, and also, you know, knocking out Giratina forms. And uh, if we went Jolly, we could be faster than like some Deoxys forms and whatnot too, but I'm not sure uh, which one I want. Maybe I'll change it as I'm playing, but its role is to set up a Spike for the team or prevent my opponent from getting up Hazards. We have Mega Blazing as the next member on the squad, and we have Sword Dance, Low Kick, Flare Blitz, and Stone Edge. Stone Edge is there for Rayquaza, Mega Salamence, and Ho-Oh. Uh, Low Kick and Flare Blitz are stabbed. Low Kick is great because it's 120 base power versus most Pokemon in the tier. Kyogre and Groudon do come to mind. And obviously Flare Blitz is our stab, allowing us to hit Pokemon like Xerneas with that. Uh, Blazing again with an Adamant Nature is incredibly powerful, especially after a spike. I might put Protect on one of these moves though, who knows? Um, I might even put it over Swords Dance, to be honest, because sometimes it is pretty difficult for Blazing to get up a Swords Dance in the Uber's tier. Arceus Flying is the next from the squad, and this gives us basically a go-to check to Pokemon like a Veltal. Uh, it gives us a Groudon check as well. Combine Judgment and Refresh makes us a pseudo stall breaker. We don't care about teams that rely on Toxic and Status to actually beat Arceus, support Arceus types, and recover obviously for longevity. We are faster than Pokemon like Veltal and base 100s, and the rest was put into defense. I think this letter, uh, lets us better take on Pokemon like Zygarde and maybe like a Stone Edge Primal Groudon or whatnot, as long as it's not boosting. Uh, Necrozma, Duskman, I don't even think I have the energy to say Necrozma, like I, I don't right now, but this is a dual dance. It's also one of our Xerneas checks on the team. We have Sol, uh, Solganium Z, so it gives us our strong, strong, strong Z move, and uh, 
with Dual Dance Earthquake, giving us some good coverage, able to hit Pokemon like Primal Groudon and opposing uh, Duskmane. And Primal Groudon is the last member of the squad. This is an offensive Stealth Rocker. We have Dragon Claw because it allows us to weaken Giratina, which is something that Blaziken does not like. Uh, with Swords Dance to boost that, of course. The Spadef lets us take a hit from Xerneas at plus two. Though, we don't worry too much about that because we have Necrozma as well as Ditto to Revenge. But that's the team for today's episode. Let's get right into the video. All right, so we have our first battle versus an <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, friend. I appreciate that. Um, hopefully, I can give him a good game. Now, in this game, um, love Ditto because he's running offense, so I don't care too much about Sticky Web and stuff like that because Ditto is going to help me out a lot. Uh, we're going to go the cloister route because basically the the main thing we want to focus on is getting up a spike uh, because that does break Smeargle's focus sash or potential focus sash on the uh, the Mars Shadow as well and I'm not sure how the how the Blaziken wants to deal with potentially Groudon or anything like that um, if he does end up passing to Salamence for example I don't think that's too big of a deal. I'm just gonna uh, Ice Ghost Spear right here, but I expected him to lead off with Smeargle and then Spore me uh, as I Shell Smash, you know, trying to break through it eventually and whatnot. Now, I have a few options. Um, I think that Arceus Flying is probably the best one because he doesn't have a Judgment Resist as it looks like it. This could be Focus Sash Blaze again with Swords Dance, but then if he SDs up, it kind of gives me uh, my Ditto to come back. But basically, with him not leading off at Smeargle and him not doing anything to kind of stop me immediately, like this just becomes such a massive threat to my opponent, I feel. Especially with the fact that like I have Ditto in the back, right? Like That makes such a huge, huge, huge difference. So I feel like I can just Judgment again because I am really defensive. On my uh, on my Arceus type. Hmm. We're gonna make the Necrozma play. I was thinking about keeping the Necrozma around for Salamence, but if he wants the Swords Dance there, oh, he thinks I'm actually Arceus Steel instead of Arceus Flying. Damn it! I nicknamed myself Arceus Steel, and it messed me up there. <laughs> and he actually uh, he actually extreme speeds, expecting me to want to uh, Ultra Burst there. <laughs> oh, okay. So he. Wait, why do you? Unless he predicted that, but then why would you switch out Blaze again, if anything? Unfortunately, now you can go Smeargle. But then again, you don't know if I'm Jolly or Adamant, so I don't know if you'd actually go Smeargle uh, now. But getting rid of Arceus is a huge blessing, um, as I didn't want Marshadow to come out after. I, I keep my Arceus flying. I, like I said, I nicknamed it Arceus Steel to kind of fool people, but I didn't realize that would backfire on me as it did right there. Now, of course, he doesn't know if I'm Jolly or not uh, based on this. And that extreme speed makes sense because if you do expect me to ultra burst, you'd uh, you'd extreme speed there. I, I'd make that play a lot of times too. Um, I don't know if you'd make the Smeargle play as I mentioned. Does opt to make the Salamence play. That's completely fine. I want to end up weakening you. Uh, if he double edges immediately, that's fair too. Uh, this gives me my grout on and as you can see, he's very weak to me clicking double edge of my own. Um, with this thing, so I'm actually just going to weaken him with Dragon Claw here as he ends up bringing out Mars Shadow, and uh, we're going to click Rocks because again we want to weaken the we want to weaken the Salamence uh, because one of my main ways of sweeping this guy is probably going to be the fact that I have either my Blaziken or my Arceus flying right, and he doesn't resist any of that stuff. So we can just Dragon Claw here uh, as Close Combat does knock me out. Unfortunately for me. However, I don't think Mega Blaziken will drop to anything he goes for, and I can Flare Blitz after and Revenge Kill him. Um, the fact that he's Endeavor makes it a little bit easier. Yeah. And I also don't think I'll, I'll die to Recoil here. I think I'll live on like 2%. But get rid of Mars Shadow, yeah, 5%, that's fine too. I still, I still get my speed boost. I have the Stone Edge for Salamence, which I should be able to knock out after the Hazards, and then I can just press his Blade Sweep him. Best case scenario for me, he's Earthquake. But even if I don't do that, like look at Arceus flying and look at his team right now. So I have some nice options going on for me. Or even like knocking out Groudon is so good. Like copying Salamence is probably a W for me. I don't like how I said W instead of Dub. Um, this is Adamant, so this is going to hurt. It's actually going to land on the side if it doesn't hurt. Okay, great. So yeah, so I have potential now to copy his Groudon and just sweep him with his own EQ slash press his blades. Especially if he goes out to Groudon now. Uh, go Smeargle, which I don't think even if it's 80 base power is going to live this attack. In fact, I'm great with that. Uh, that crit did not matter at all. I'm at, like I said, I'm adamant Mega Blaze again. That crit did not matter at all. I have enough speed to 
to beat him down anyway, and he can't even rock polish here. I'm pretty sure I just low kick into Judgment Judgment and I win the game. Oh, and he's Earth Power. Wow, I could not have asked for a better set. I actually could not have asked for a better set. So we're going to copy that with Ditto, and uh, we're going to be able to Earth Power here. And even if he gets like a million protects with Blaziken, I still have Judgment at the end of the day um, to, to mess him up. But the combination of Ditto plus Blaziken was a lot for him. Does he sub? Could be sub. Nope, I'm still faster. Good game, man. All right, so uh, that was like a real, that was like a shared win. I love how Ditto and uh, Blaziken are both fighting for the thumbnail. Um, so as I mentioned, this is gonna be a short one, so I'm it there. No, I'm not doing that. I'm so bad at Uber. Uh, I think that Ditto was always gonna be tough for you. Keep going. I'm not the best at Ubers either, dude, so don't worry about it. Don't even worry about it. I'll pause until we find a battle. I'll be right back. So I'm playing my boy RDKB, and he is so weak to Cloyster. Like, he actually has to lead Smeargle and, and, and try and put me to sleep. Uh, in fact, he might actually uh, nuzzle here as opposed to uh, Spore because he doesn't know if I'm overcoat. Yeah, exactly. Like, he's so weak to this thing, though. If I, if I end up Shell Smeargle... Oh, come on, man. So I'm going to be able to get up a spike here, which is great. I feel like there's no way he's not gonna go Lunala. Can I can I do something here, please? Please. Oh, please, please, please. Like if I got that shell smash up turn one. Bro, I'm gonna need some help here. Let me get this spike up. Cause the, the problem is Lunala's gonna get its Lunala's gonna get its shadow shield, right? Okay, cool, cool, cool. So I can shell smash up here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I gotta shell smash again. Okay, now we spike. So now we sp Ugh, Let me get my spike off! <laughs> Bro, he's not gonna be able to stop this. <laughs> Yeah, I knew Lunala was coming in right here, so I actually should have just Ice Ghost Speared. But I Shell Smash again just in case I think it was Choice Scarf. I hope this makes me faster. Yeah, it, I think it will. Ooh, but you know what? Oh, okay, so I broke its Shadow Shield. That's nice. Uh, he doesn't have a Ghost Resist besides Arceus, which uh, probably doesn't even kill me at this HP. I'm going to be real, unless it's Life Orb. Um, let's see. As it turns out to be Life Orb. Oh, that's okay, though. Um... Again, my Ditto can kind of Dragon Claw through him too. So I'm just going to bring out my Necrozma and drop my Z-Move right here. Uh, my Ditto is going to be a saving grace at the end of the day. And um, this should die, I believe, because it's Life Orb, it should die. It's a more offensive variant. And yeah, I don't, I'm not always worried about it. So yeah, perfect. Perfect. All I got to do is keep hitting what comes in as well. Uh, we're going to hit this thing as well. Eruption comes through, but I do have my Arceus. Wow, does it not show my... Well, my actual thing is, that's unfortunate. Uh, and we're just gonna Judgment here. Getting off a little bit of gra uh, damage on Groudon and, or a lot, rather. Dude, your Rock Tomb does nothing. Absolutely nothing, bro. I think I Combine and just Reverse Sweep him right now. I really do. Uh, this is why I have this defense on Arceus, by the way. But when my Combine up, I'm not, I'm not worried at all. And also the crazy thing is, if he goes like Lunala to try and Reverse, like, set up or anything, I think I'll be good too. So we're just gonna judge me here. Go ahead and flare blitz me. Dude, my defense on this boy is impeccable. Oh, and I knock out Charizard as well. There's so many options here. Rayquaza comes out. Gonna live every hit. That's Focus Sash? That probably was Focus Sash, that's why. Yep. Gonna live every hit. Let me see your set. Can I lose to Lunala though? That's the problem. Cause I feel like you'd sack Groudon, right? Huh? I'm gonna I'm gonna go Blaze again. Okay, he went he went hard Lunala. That's fine because I want to sweep him with his own Lunala. Uh, so I just yeah, I'm glad I didn't go for E speed because now I believe I sweep him with his own Lunala. Uh, so all I gotta do, Mega Evolve. Um, I click Flare Blitz here. 
Uh, I get my speed boost, which actually makes me maybe faster than Rayquaza if it's adamant. And I'm just basically trying to sweep him with his own Mon, right? At the end of the day, that's what I'm trying to do. Flare Blitz here. Turns out he is Jolly. I think Primal Groudon is my best play. As I can just Dragon Claw to knock out Rayquaza. I live Earthquake. I live. I, I know he doesn't have Waterfall or anything. Yep. And Lunala, even if it combines up, he knows I win with my own. And I'm pretty sure this is Z Lunala as well. Yep. Good game. Hey, shout out to Ditto, man. Shout out to Ditto. I love how I keep getting these offensive matchups when I'm using a Ditto. So that's beautiful. Um, I knew that Ditto would be very important. Uh, I might have actually been able to do a little, like I don't know if the the, the, the calc on that life orb RC is, but I might have been able to do a little bit more work with my Kleister too. Oh man, Ditto and Blaze gonna fight him, but so far Ditto is having it. I, I just want to see where my rank is. You know, that'd be really nice if I could see my rank, but we'll pause until we find another battle. I'll be right back. All right, guys, we got a game. Um, I'm really worried about this one because it looks like I just lose to Slowbro. Um, Combine Arceus is good, but he has both Tarantar and Confi more than likely Confide Blissey. I like SD Groudon though with Dragon Claw, it's pretty nice here too. Uh, let's see how this goes though. We're gonna go the Cloister route, see if we can get up some hazards. By the way, I'm 1711, which is pretty cool. Uh, so I'd be, I'd be cool with ending after this game. Um, you know, I would love to to win mostly, but you know, I'd be really cool with ending after this game. So, gonna get my hazards here. What I'm gonna do is get out my Arceus flying and uh, I think double out to Groudon. Um, please don't read it as Arceus Steel. <laughs> Maybe Necrozma is actually the safer play. If I think about it. If he does read it as Arceus Steel. It goes Latias. That's fine. Uh, SD in his face. Dude, that's leftover Slowbro, right? Like, well, how much does it take? If I get rid of Slowbro, I can actually win this game. How much does foul play do to me? Assuming he has it, right? And doesn't just burn me right now with the first skull. Why is my team not imported? I swear it was. It is, right? Oh, no, that's the old team. Okay. Uh, I swear it was. Wow. Seven sets? Okay. <laughs> You're not gonna fool the team voter. <laughs> Slow bro. Slow bro. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. File play, how much do you do? 95 to 100, whatever. Plus 2 on a Z. I'm just gonna throw off my Z here. I mean, I can crit him too. <laughs> but, like, I have a lot of opportunities. But if he has foul play, I can also get, he can also get a lower roll. Um, and it looks like he's not actually fully physically defensive. He doesn't get the lower roll, unfortunately, but we get our Groudon now. I'm gonna SD because I because he has Latias and I have Dragon Claw for that. It's like the same thing, right? Like this Mon can mess him up too. Uh, so I'm actually not sure how he plays through this. Oh, he just does that, that's unfortunate. But I get the Dragon Claw off on Lottie, which is gonna open up a door for Blaziken. So that's awesome. Uh, and he also doesn't know like if I'm Fire Punch or not. Like if I fire, if I'm fire punch, I fire punch here. But ideally, he gives me this Pokemon. Ooh, all the mons are just dying left and right. That's awesome. <laughs> Slowbro should still die too. He might go Buzzwool and double out into. I mean, I'm still clicking press with Blaze, bro. I don't care what you double out into. Give me Tyranitar so my Arceus flying has a, a better shot too. I'll take every opportunity I get, bro. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure between Ditto and Arceus Flying, I also beat Blissey. And the fact that I'm hitting everything is also really cool. So... Like, you don't know if I'm Fire Punch right now. He doesn't. He doesn't know if I'm Fire Punch. Like, if, if I was, I messed that up right now. Wow. 
for you better be confide. I feel like I have no reason to not click Flare Blitz. Um, let him go slow, bro. And like I said, I'm pretty sure the combination of Ditto plus that ruins in the game. And the fact that he gave me Buzzwell is nice because now he only he has to pivot infinitely between uh, Ditto and uh, slow, bro. Um, I have an RC's flying. I don't care about at all. Uh, do I win? I think I just PP stall him with his own mon. Let me see his Blissey set, because if he doesn't have Confide, he loses. So, show me your set right now. Like, I might just be able to win right now. So, show me your set. Oh, I won. Okay, cool. GG. I'm just typing GG. Like what do you what do you do? You go slow, bro. That's cool. But I don't care. <laughs> don't think I can actually lose this game. He's not confined, so this is a wrap. Also, this pussy can't take this hit. Yeah, I won. Is it is it over? You know you know forfeit, buddy. Go ahead and give me that blissy. Thank you very much. And there it is. Uh, that crit didn't matter. <laughs> this is plus two plus plus it's uh it's flying base. So like again. Um, me getting that, like he made a really nice play toxicking with Slowbro, but him not knowing that I was Dragon Claw and also me not showing that I potentially had Fire Punch was really good in this game. So as I mentioned, um, this is going to be a way shorter episode. I definitely think that Ditto should take the thumbnail over, yeah, I definitely think that Ditto should take the thumbnail over Blaziken in this one, but I'm not sure because Blaziken was really good in game one, but so was Ditto. And then Ditto was really good in the other ones. Like, it just showing me that it wasn't uh, Confide Blissey helped me so much because it just meant that I could just combine up and win the game. But let's see where my ranking is. I was 17-11 before that game. Um, I'm 17-28, so that's pretty cool. Uh, again, I'm sorry about the short episode. Uh, maybe I'll do a two... You know what? Let me know because I'm going to record the next part maybe later tonight after I take like a nap or something or some medicine or whatever and knock out. Uh, if you want me to use this team in the next part, let me know. The only reason I'd be iffy about that is because obviously people already know the team at that point, but at the same time, who cares? So I'm number 44 on the ladder right now as well, which is pretty cool. I feel like this team, we'd be able to climb. Like, uh, assuming I won the next two games, which is what I play, like two to three more games, which is what I play if I was feeling a little bit better, I feel like, you know, I would have been like in the top 20s, if anything, right? Or like number 15 or 18. But hope you guys all enjoyed. Uh, thank you for bearing with me and understanding that I am sick. Let me know down below, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye, my friends.